Well, now positively, Jax, there are still no hotels, no restaurants, no electricity on the hardest hit islands of the Abacos in the Bahamas. But volunteers from the Jacksonville area continue visiting the hardest hit communities. And some are going back and forth on a weekly basis. Others are staying there on the island to help. News for Jax reporter Vic Michelucci returned to the islands last week for the fourth time since the hurricane hit with a group of locals determined to make a difference. I'm fine, thank you, and how are you today? Bye. The children of the Abacos are finally back in school more than two months after Hurricane Dorian tore through their towns. Because all of you are so incredible that we just really wanted to meet you and have some fun. Today is special not only because they're back in class, but because they have visitors coming from North Florida and around the world. You want my mind. Ooh. Healing through music and art. Luke Raynaud and Benjamin Suarez from St. Augustine have spent the past month in the Bahamas visiting schools and shelters with their group called the Goodness Tour. I know. The kids are still living without running water or electricity, but things are slowly getting back to normal with certain schools up and running again with generators. Next door, a stockpile of supplies to get the families by. The aftermath was hard, but at the end of it all, we, we made it. We got big. Mental health is a big concern for Bahamians who have seen so much. Shez Libby is a therapist from Ponte Vedra, volunteering with the Goodness Tour. And I, I feel like just that impact of them knowing that people want to be there and spend time with them, not just drop off water or whatever, but be with them, I feel like that is going to be something lasting, very lasting. Remember it? It meant everything. The whole situation with them, with you guys coming in and giving them a bit of joy in the moments we've not had, you know, it, it made them feel loved and appreciated. It is not a pretty scenario. People burning debris, living in tents, eating canned food. It's dirty. But amid the rubble, there is art emerging. Benjamin Suarez painting beautiful murals in honor of the victims. I just find that every single day people are more and more hopeful and excited about what is really about to emerge from, uh, from the hard work and uh, the love and the unity, the community coming together to make something uh, new out of uh, destruction. Simple acts of kindness going a long way. The Warren family and volunteers with the Abaco Rescue Fund flying in supplies from Jacksonville, costumes, care packages, and candy. Working with retired Navy SEALs who have been staying on the islands since the hurricane. Teaching the kids how to swim and laugh again. Good job, dude. Total relaxation. The rebuild process will take years and hundreds of millions of dollars. No one knows exactly how it will be done, but these do-gooders feel every little bit helps. Rebuilding hearts, then houses. Every little thing is gonna be alright. From the Abaco Islands, I'm Vic Michelucci, Channel 4, the local station. A little bit of hope there, huh? Oh, no kidding. Great to see. Man. Both the Abaco Rescue Fund and the Goodness Tour rely on donations to help cover the costs of getting to and from the Bahamas and finding shelter. So if you want to get involved, you want to support them, we've posted the contact information inside this story. It's on our website, news4jax.com.